Hi friends, this is Alvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today let us discuss about BGP AS path prepending. So BGP always prefers the shortest AS path to reach the destination. So this can be done by AS path prepending. So what it does is if you want to influence the path, we can prepend its own autonomous system number. So we can influence the AS path by prepending its own autonomous system number. So that is the purpose of AS path prepending. So it is always apl applied to outbound dictating the best inbound path into an AS. So just like MED, it is exchange to, it is indicates to the external neighbor the best inbound path into an AS. So how we can influence this by prepending its own autonomous system number. I am going to show how it works. So here I connected three routers, R1, R2 and R3. So both R1 are established an IBGB neighbor relationship with R2 and R1 has established an EBGB neighbor relationship with R3. Similarly, R2 has established an IBGB neighbor relationship with R1, right? Both are in the same autonomous system number. And R2 has established an EBGB neighbor relationship with R3. Both are in the different autonomous system number. This is 1 and 2. Similarly, R3 has two EBGB neighbors. So now let us first configure the BGB neighbor relationship. Second thing, what I'm going to do, just I'm going to configure the network prefix, right? I'm going to advertise the prefix for all the routers. And third thing, I'm going to configure the AS path prepend attribute value. So now what we can do, let us go to the individual configuration. Let us go to router 1 and it has two IBGB and one IBGB and EBGB neighbor. Router BGP1 and IBGB neighbor is 12.2, right? So neighbor 192.168.12.2 and the remote autonomous system number value is 1. Similarly, the BGP is 13.2, EBGB is 13.2 and the autonomous system number value is 2, right? So we have set the attribute. Similarly, we will configure the BGB neighbor relationship for R2. So similar to R1, it has one IBGB and EBGB neighbor, right? Neighbor 192.168.12.1 and the remote autonomous number is 1, right? That is a IBGB neighbor and 23.2 is an EBGB neighbor. 23.2 is a EBGB neighbor, right? 23.2 is a EBGB neighbor. So we have configured one IBGB and EBGB neighbor. Similarly, go to R3. R3 has two EBGB neighbor, right? So it is an autonomous system number two. Two and it has two EBGB neighbor 13.1 and 23.1. So neighbor 192.168.13.1 and the remote autonomous number is one. Similarly, 23.1. So two EBGB neighbor, right? 23.1. So we have successfully configured the BGP neighbor relationship on R1, R2 and R3. Show IP BGP all summary. It will show the detailed summary of all the neighbors. Okay. So show IP. Show IP BGP all summary. So it is showing it already established the IBGB and an EBGB neighbor relationship. So it has also established an IBGB and an EBGB neighbor relationship. It is showing the uptime and the prefix value. Similarly, go to R3 and it has also two neighbors are up. It has two EBGB neighbors, both are up. Show IP BGP all summary, right? So now let us advertise the prefixes. So R1, I have introduced the Lubag address 1.1. So now let us advertise the Lubag as a prefix. Network 1.1. Sorry, it is 1.1.1.0 and the mask is 24 bit mask 25.255.255.0. Similarly, go to R2 and advertise the prefix 2.2. Right? Router BGP1 autonomous system number advertise the prefix as 2.2.2.0 and the mask is 25.255.255.0. And similarly, go to R3 and advertise the prefix router BGP2. Right? It is the prefix is 3.3.3. So the network 3.3.3.0 and the mask is. 25.25.25.0 so i advertise all the prefixes and first we have configured the bgp neighbor relationship and the second thing i advertise the prefixes and third i'm going to check the bgp routing table so this is a bgp routing table is also we are able to see the routes so for r3 for reaching this 2.2 network it is taking this as a preferred path 13.1 it is taking as a preferred path similarly for reaching 2.2 network it is taking 23.1 as a preferred path right so it is taking this as a preferred path. So what we can do, we can influence this metric, right? So if you want to 
make this as a less preferred path i can i can if i want to make this as a preferred path less preferred path what i can do i can prepend the same autonomous system number so always bgb prefer the shortest path so i can influence this i will make this as a longer path by prepending this own autonomous system number that is one right so how we can do is go to r1 i will show you know go to r1 and go to the configuration mode and router bgp1 i hope you are following what i'm doing neighbor 192.13.2 this path i making it as a less preferred path go to the route map statement and set the value as path right as any value we can give as path out because why out is outbound it is exchange between the ebg neighbors right so now let us configure the individual route map statement route map as path right as path so both should be the same always keep it in mind yes path and this value should be same and permit statement 10 and set as path prepend so this is the attribute i am going to set as path prepend and going to prepend its own autonomous system number so what happened this path will pre make it as a less preferred path so always we will prefer this path so i want to influence this path by prepending the own autonomous system number so one 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 any number of ones you can give the same autonomous system number so after that what i'm going to do i prepended it so this path i make it as a less preferred path so let us go to r3 it is used to influence the inbound path right it is exchanged it exchange between the ebgb neighbors and it is dictating the best inbound path so go to r3 and check the show ip bgp so still it did not get reflecting so let us do a short reset clear ip bgp 192.168.13.1 13.1 let us do a soft reset right 13.1 and soft in inbound similarly for 23.1 also so this what i'm do, doing is i'm excited doing a soft reset we can also do a hard reset so hard reset it will kill all the bgp neighbor relationship then again the neighbor will come up and then it will advertise the prefixes then it will show up in the bgp routing table so instead of doing that i'm just doing a soft reset so it not kill any bgp session so instead it will request for a fresh update from the neighbor right so already it changed the neighbor update so it will request for the fresh update so after that you will see it in the bgp table so ip bgp so see you are able to see right so it is this path will be taken as a less preferred path so always star is the valid route it is not the best route star and greater than should be the best route star is a valid route and this is the best route so always for pushing the routes it should be there in the routing table so this path it is taking as a less preferred path right because you are seeing the path shortest path here so for reaching 1.1 network it is taking 23.1 as a preferred path so the, i have influenced this path by making this as a longer path so what happened 13.1 see the path i have set it actually so this path will not take it will take this as a preferred in both for from r3 for reaching this 2.2 or 1.1 it is taking 23.1 as a next stop interface why because of the less preferred path similarly for reaching 2.2 it is taking same way 23.1 right 23.1 it is taking as a preferred path because this path is not preferred because of the longer path that is the purpose of as path prepending because this is the longest path so pre gp always prefers the shortest as path to reach the destination so for r3 network for reaching either this 2.2 prefix or 1.1 it is taking this as a less preferred path and it is taking 23.1 as a next stop interface so, the, so that is the thing that is shown here so that is the purpose of as path prepending so it is used to influence the best inbound path how we can do it is by prepending its own autonomous system number and as path it is always applied to the outbound outbound dictating the best inbound path into an as i hope you understood thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you have a wonderful day